Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron's Basement. Thank you for joining me today. I have a quick video for you. I just had this rush of inspiration uh, of information that I wanted to share with you. And this is about gold. And I will say three things that I think are kind of misconstrued about the gold market. So uh, number one, transitory. All we keep hearing about inflation is that it's transitory. And it dawned on me this morning, I thought, okay, you can use, everything's transitory. Life is transitory. I'm 51 years old. Um, you know, my life seems to kind of be flying by. Uh, when, you know, it's easy for the Fed to use this word, quote unquote, transitory. But what does that really mean? Does that mean uh, a month, two months, six months, a year? Um, you know, it's kind of BS, in my opinion, that they're using this word transitory when they're talking about inflation. Point number two, just the fact that, and I'm going to try to explain this to you as simply as possible. I don't think that, like, I don't think some people can really understand this whole concept of Fed money printing. I mean, I just think there's a certain segment of the population that doesn't have the uh, intellectual horsepower to be able to grasp it. And those that do have the intellectual ha horsepower, I think that most of them don't really care. But for those of you watching this video, you probably do care. So I'm going to briefly explain to you how that works. The U.S. government spends a lot more money every year than they bring in in taxes. And that's how they get their revenue from taxes. So let's say, just for simplicity's sakes, that they spend five trillion per year, but they only bring in three trillion in revenue through taxes. There's a two trillion dollar gap. It'd be like you, uh, as the head of your household, making uh, fifty thousand per year as a salary, but you spend ninety. Right? You got to find somewhere to kind of plug that gap. The way our government plugs the gap is by issuing bonds. Nobody wants the bonds, right? So guess what? The Federal Reserve creates money out of thin air and buys the bonds. That is dilutive to our currency because they're making this money out of nowhere and they're basically giving it to the government then uh, in terms of buying their bonds and then the government spends it, gives it to the people, whatever the case may be. So that is dilutive to the currency, which is good for gold. The third point, which again, takes a little bit of uh, intellectual horsepower to grasp, has to do with the strong dollar. You hear, I've been hearing lately people talk about gold and oh, you know, it's uh, the dollar. If the dollar's strong, gold goes down. Well, and I'm going to make this simple. Think about this. If, let's just for simplicity's sake, hypothetically say there's only three currencies in the world. The U.S. dollar, the euro, and the Chinese yuan, or however you pronounce it. If over the course of one year, all three of those countries uh, increase their money supply by, for simplicity's sake, we'll say 50%, okay? And they all increase it by exactly 50%. In theory, the exchange rate between those currencies would remain the same. Uh, you know, the dollar would not get stronger or weaker, and the euro wouldn't get stronger or weaker, and the yuan would not get stronger and weaker. However, there would be a 50% increase in all those currencies, which would mean that the price of commodities, of real assets, of everything, should inflate by 50%, even though the currencies on an exchange rate amongst themselves remain the same. Did you catch that? If not, go back, listen to it again, because I know that it's absolutely true. If everybody creates more currency at roughly the same level, the exchange rates are going to remain the same. However, all of the currencies would have been diluted. So we've got a lot of dilutive uh, 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 factors right now that I'm telling you, you know, I could be wrong, but in the long run, the price of gold has got to go up. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, like and subscribe. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks again.